Hello. Uh, today we will see how to create a, a double exposure effect that usually can be created by just a camera. But today we will see how to do that uh, using Adobe Photoshop. So we will see how to go from this to this. I just create a view. All right, fantastic. So let's go to it. Okay, so open your Adobe Photoshop and just open the image that you want to use. And uh, of course, uh, for this effect to work, we need uh, two different images. So, uh, first of all, I would just uh, uh, delete the, the background of this image. So, I will just use the magic wand tool, like so. And I will, by pressing Alt and my mask in here, you can just uh, delete the, the area that we just selected. And I will just use a refine mask so I can uh, refine some of the, the hair in, in here. Alright, so just really quickly. Alright. Okay, it's okay. Now that we have a, a kinda clean uh, cut, uh, we'll go and you know take the picture that you want to expose with this picture we have. So I will just use this uh, tree picture and I will just take it and drag it in here. And I will just place it in the main picture and now uh, I will just reduce the opacity a little bit so we we'll see how where we will actually place our image so the press control T and try to make uh, the spot that I want to use this image in so I think somewhere Okay. All right. In here, looks cool. Now we'll make the opacity 100% again. And now we need to make a, a background. So we'll just press Ctrl and new layer and then we'll just fill it with white by pressing Alt Delete. Now uh, we need like to make this tree picture under this one in here and by pressing Alt and the layer mask in here active. We'll just try to make a copy of it and replace it in here now we have uh, a, ma a mask in the in the tree picture too so now we'll take the picture of the girl and we'll change the blending mode to lighting as you can see it looks cool but uh, there is some area in here in that it's not as white as it should be so uh, first of all we'll just make our adjustment layer a black and white adjustment layer so and we'll make everything in black and white now we're, we, what we can do is we'll make a level adjustment layer so and we'll try to uh, make this area a little bit whiter As you can see in here, turn to white. All right. Okay. Now we'd like to clean these areas in here. So just go to the layer mask in here. And we just 
limits change the color by pressing X Sometimes, like, uh, it doesn't you need to play with the, the blending mode option. You might find a, a vivid light or soft light work best for you. So, but in this image, I think lighting is working best. So, all right. So, let's go. Now uh, we'll apply a level adjustment for this the girl layer too. So, let's choose level. And try to darken it a little bit. So, just a little bit. Okay. Now uh, I just don't like. Uh, I need like. I want to make the eyes appear a little bit. So we we'll just duplicate the, the the layer of the girl by pressing Ctrl G. And I will make it on top in here. And now uh, I will just uh, delete the, the layer mask, or I will just fill it in black. And I will just change the, the blending mode to uh, darken. And if I press Shift and one click on the layer mask, we see uh, it does look as as normal, actually. But I will choose. Uh, darken now I will uh, try to take back a little bit of the details of the eyes just a little bit Okay, now um, it's pretty much uh, done. So we can we will just uh, add a little bit of uh, coloring uh, to the image. So we just apply uh, a solid color, and I uh, will just use this uh, yellowish color. Press OK, and I will change the blending mode to exclusion, and I will turn down the opacity to 30 percent and as you can see it gives it a, a really uh, fade color and i like it so and that's it it's that easy so try it with different images and i hope this tutorial was a little bit helpful for you don't forget to subscribe and comment and you know, the next day. Thank you for watching.